Hey guys, it's your boy Vibak with more Malhuj Vite content and we have the GOTG3 part 2 update slash the patch note that we have for Gamora tier 4 as well as, uh, well we will see about that. Anyways, Groot tier 3 also is there. So the patch will be applied probably tomorrow. Two new uniforms, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 Gamora uniform. She stays speed superhero which is great. Uh, alien female order, of course the uniform will be 40% discounted, not the usual 50% as the anniversary is gone. 1050 crystals for this uniform. Uniform effect, we are getting some extra critical damage, guaranteed dodge rate, critical, critical rate. Uh, guaranteed critical rate always is good for rages. So. She could be insane. Leadership, this is amazing. Her leadership now changes to 60% increase of physical attack and all speed by 6%. Really good leadership now. We have passive. At the moment when attacking, you will deal some bleed silence as she already has, just like before. So the passive is, this, uh, is the same. Every five seconds, you can apply the silence whenever you attack. Tier two passive is... Uh, I'm not sure how much it actually changed. I'll have to check the other uniform. Now it deals 45% damage to hero types, 45% damage to villain types, as well as skill damage, bonus damage. I believe with the uniform that we have right now, the passive is, uh, I think, a bit less than this one. You can just comment down below if I'm wrong. The first skill basically has nothing. Second skill has paralyze. Third skill has stun, paralyze, HP recovery, 100% chance to penetrate everything for three seconds and damage accumulation, damage dealt, which is great. Third skill is really awesome. Uh, just like before, uh, the fourth skill has burn, shock, Okay, 60% chance to penetrate as well as 100% chance to grant all damage immunity and 35% all attack buff, which is good. So we have accumulation on the third skill and then buff on the fourth skill, which is really nice. Plus the stun paralyze on the third skill and burn shock helps her out. Fifth skill, we have 60% chance to missing attacks to enemies. Stun, invincibility. Okay, she needed this. Uh, and then we have another frenzy buff and the 70% proc on the Seven, uh, on the fifth skill so the d uh they did actually give him give her a lot of buffs and uh combined with the physical attack if she is which is i believe that she's not gonna be a uh, what is that leadership character but as an alien female character and uh you know maintaining the speed type hero type she could be the new savior for the abl speed female day as well as the speed hero day or speed hero female day for abx if she can cover all of those days it will be really nice and if she can score more but we will see really good bump for gamora i do think that uh, the shock and everything are gonna help but she only has shock she doesn't have anything else apart from that she doesn't have snare or fracture so I am not sure if he if she's gonna be meta with this. Tier 4 of course will make her with the striker, but we will see. Groot uniform, we have combat superhero, he remains that. Alien male order, of course. Uniform effect to self, 30% attack increase, recovery rate increase, skill damage, bonus damage. Of course, when dead, 60% revive. Okay, Bloom, we have a support. We have a double support for Star Lord. Finally, increase basic damage dealt to boss types by 40%. This makes Groot the meta for the alien male hero ABL where Star-Lord is actually the main character. So now the new team will be Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon as well as Groot and it will be much easier to score 10 million or actually score more I should say with Star-Lord there. Also to Guardians of the Galaxy type allies, recover 20% HP as well every second for 15 seconds and 50 second cooldown. So it's pretty nice and he finally becomes the support that we needed and that is awesome. They kept the heal and of course they also made uh, the damage dealt. So Groot I think is going to be amazing with this. We have snare on the first skill, stun on the second skill. Third skill has snare and blind accumulation, damage dealt. Great. The fourth skill has burned, paralyzed as well as all defense down. And we have a 45% all attack and defense frenzy buff. All damage immunity for 5 seconds. Stun, fear, snare, 20% HP recovery and 100% proc on the fifth skill. So I do feel that this uniform is probably going to be a must have. Again, support characters always uh, the priority to get. And uh, well, it just is insane. We we do we finally have a double support for Star Lord. Sadly, it only applies to Guardians of the Galaxy allies, so you can't use it with basically anyone else apart from Star Lord in the meta. Not with Thor, not with anyone. So that's how it goes. And 
well so we now have groot support as well as Gam- uh, not gamora rocket support for star lord finally gamora tier 4 lethal focus when striker skill is used chain hit damage 50% increase for 10 uh, 10 seconds and 10% of hp recovery for 10 seconds that's going to be a refreshing buff so she got the heal which is great but she also got a whopping that's in that's insane okay 50% chain hit damage is a lot i hope some of her skills will be cancelable now and if they are cancelable gamora is going to be dealing it's probably going to be dealing a lot of damage and might just become meta for the abl and abx group tier 3 also we have uh, beckoning of nature stun 80% chance to penetrate everything invincibility all attack 50% increase to himself so i think groot is going to be a really solid character with this kind of rework and uniform gamora tier 4 looks really good with this uh, uh, with the 50% freaking chain hit it's well she could just be meta we'll see about that this is how the tier 3 of groot looks like <laughs> she he says i am groot then he walks around dealing all that damage i am groot again <laughs> okay that's good that's good so it feels like you can maybe cancel it right here once the forest kind of appears so it's it's a it's nice i am groot it says i am groot in the big numbers that's awesome okay new artifact we have a groot artifact ignore target dodge rate as well as uh, so it's a pvp artifact with some pve value with the ignore dodge as well nice gamora's artifact we already have in the game sadly the fa- uh, the fact is that gamora's artifact does not work in abx or abl because it only works for allies when the hp goes below f- uh, 50% health and abx and abl certain b certain beast their hp never goes below 50% so that's a big bump uh, sadly it doesn't work some text and view all effect of uh, acts of swords have been increased before it was values from same effect will display a cumulative it doesn't even matter we know how it works the support role has been added to the recommendation position of rocket raccoon okay that's a good thing because uh, when you search rocket for support it was not showing there so that's a good thing game error fixes we have the issue of the brilliant and mighty ctp of insight not being displayed in the main lobby chance info okay that's okay it's not a big increase the increase basic devil to super villain faction effect of the three star bounty hunter rocket raccoon artifact not being applied properly so effect has been applied properly with the four Wait, wait, so wait, what? They fix the artifact, three-star artifact of Rocket Raccoon, to deal per proper damage. But then they say they will apply properly with the four and six-star artifacts. This is kind of weird. Like, so you have to have like a four-star artifact, Rocket Raccoon, three-star. If you have, it's still gonna have some issues. So why would why do you have to make things more confusing at Marvel? I don't know why. We look forward to active participation in the events that will be held to the support of the growth of update heroes. So honestly, uh, not big patch notes. Of course, we only have two uniforms, but two uniforms could be promising. Groot is instant meta for the ABL day for Star Lord being the double support. Now finally, Star Lord will be able to score much easier and will be able to cap also 10 million much easier for those. I think he's still gonna use. He might actually cap with the 30. Uh, what is that? A mighty rage now. I don't think you you're like you're going to need a brilliant rage now to cap so mighty they should uh, star lord should still do amazing now with double supports and groot becomes the absolute meta day one absolute a must have uniform gamora we will have to see level 80 of course is going to be interesting she also has the villain uniform so even if you don't get this uniform or actually you do get this uniform she now is a speed superhero and speed super villain with the old uniform so even if the old uniform kind of sucked the 50% chain hit damage is huge even for that uniform and the score for the speed villain abx for the old uniform will increase as well as now she can also be used as a female villain day maybe if you don't have a jean gray so she could have multiple purposes uh she could have a lot of purpose uh, in the game now and so many days multiple days actually so looking forward to testing these things out looks really good and they get, did actually give uh, groot and gamora some really nice stuff and looking forward to that apart from that i don't think we do have anything else we just have this chess hero package and the relay package i'm not going to go through this but the patch notes and the everything it looks nice finally we have the geodg part 2 sadly no adam warlock tier 4 he will probably not even get a uniform 
uh, ever <laughs> probably so we will see about that maybe in the future adam warlock gets a tier 4 somewhere in the multiverse let me know in the comment section what you think about the video let me know what you think about gamora and groot groot being a must have i'm super happy with that for that character gamora we will see how she performs if she performs good in both abx and abl she could be the best uh, uh the best cheapest option for the speed category so we will see about that how it rolls out and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one